Hi, I'm Chuck with IWS Sales. It's another beautiful day here in Idaho, and I'm gonna to talk to you about this 2023 Verona uh, 36 VSB. And what that means is this is a 36 foot long coach. And if there was ever a motorhome that I feel is right powered and the right length, it's the 36 VSB. I like to tell people, if you have one of these coaches, you can fit just about anywhere somebody with a long bed uh, four-door pickup could fit. Um, it, it's just very easy to drive, it's easy to park. It, at cruising speed, you can keep up uh, with all freeway traffic. Um, when I had my Verona, we, I always tell the story, when we went to uh, Redmond, Oregon, we drove ours and I got there faster than I could have with the pickup. Uh, it just, it just, it's just right powered, it's right everything. So. All right, so to kick off this video, I wanna start out with the price. The MSRP on this, which stands for Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price, is 430392 Since this is the last of our 2023 models and the 2024s are coming in, we're gonna offer this coach for 327 537 just to clarify, <laughs> that's $327,537. And I think that's just an exceptional buy on this particular coach. And I also want to repoint out that this is the last unit we have like this. So if you want it, you better act fast. <laughs> All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and do an in-depth tour of this coach. And like most of the videos, I'm gonna start up here um, at the power plant so we can talk a little bit about it. All right, so we're gonna move up here and talk about the engine, but before I do, I wanna talk about the front end and everything that houses the engine. So the most obvious improvement is this coach has LED headlamps. Most of you that have modern vehicles have known the transition from halogen headlamps over to LEDs, and it's just been a huge step forward, and we're really excited that this coach has LED headlights, as well as these lower driving lights down here. Now when it comes to safety, obviously I can't speak on behalf of safety, but personal, my personal opinion is, is I love having this all steel three-piece bumper in front, as well as this 1800 pound engine and this long hood between me and the potential impact zones. This also has, as I mentioned, a three-piece bumper, and I wanna point out that these side wings are replaceable on it. You can see this line right here. They're designed to fold back and you can take these off if you have an impact and just replace that. So that's kind of a neat feature that most people don't know about. Another neat thing about the Class C is the towability. So I wanna to talk for a minute. Let's pretend you have a Class A motorhome and maybe you do. I would encourage you or challenge you to call your local towing companies and say, I have a 40 foot class A motorhome and I need to get it towed. I can almost assure you that you're gonna find troubles, find, you're, or you're going to have trouble finding a towing company that's actually willing to tow a class A. They're just so challenging with that front axle set way back underneath the coach. They usually have a very low approach angle at the back and that's kind of why I didn't, that was one of the first reasons I didn't want a Class A, is just getting the dang thing towed. It's, it's really challenging today to have them towed. Now, if you have a Class C, this is a vocational chassis. Now call the towing company and say, hey, I have a 36 foot or 40 foot Class C motorhome on a Freightliner M2 chassis, can you tow it? That's something that almost every towing company that has medium or heavy duty capabilities is comfortable with towing. This is the same chassis you're gonna see under most school buses, most dump trucks, Pepsi delivery trucks. So it's very natural to tow it. As well as just having the accessibility to get in here to perform service work. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood here and we're gonna talk about that. I'll uh, get a hold of it up front right here. And as you can see, it's really easy to gain access in here to check your engine oils and, and just do an engine inspection. And it's also really um, easy for the technician to get in here and work on it versus a Class A where they gotta 
you know, either go through a doghouse or climb through, uh, some of them have an access point in the bathroom. Um, most, or not most, well, I would say most service centers have a higher repair rate cost for class um, A motorhomes than they do for the class C. And it's just perfectly evident. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that accessing in here and getting in here is a lot easier to do than on a class A. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit now about the power plant here. And this is a Cummins L9 engine. And the last time I looked, this thing weighed right at 1,800 pounds. And a lot of people look at the horsepower and torque ratings and they go, wow, my Super Duty almost makes that. This is complete different beast. Um, this engine is designed to go up and down the freeway hauling 50, 60,000 pounds all day long, every day. So it has 360 um, horsepower with 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. As I mentioned, it weighs close to 1,800 pounds. But some of the things that make this thing just, uh, it's, it's almost like probably locomotive type thinking. It's got that big six-cylinder heavy engine that has torque that just holds you as you're going up the hill. This thing is designed to last 500, 600, 700,000 miles. It wouldn't even be a stretch to say you could get a million miles out of this engine. So the best thing you could do if you own this motorhome is get in it and put miles on it. It's always, you know, I'm always bummed when I hear people say, yeah, you know, I have a 10 year old motorhome and it only has 10,000 miles on it. And I'm like, dang it, get out and use this thing. Run the hell out of it. You know, I'm in the jet boating world and it's a badge of honor with us to tell everybody you have hundreds and hundreds of hours on your boat, which means you're getting out and using it. Get this thing out and let it run. Another neat thing about it is just the serviceability of it. Here you can see you got access to the fuel filter. Try to find the fuel filter on your F-250, I challenge you, or your Duramax pickup, or your Class C, or excuse me, Class A motorhome. Show me where the filter is, right? Jerry McGuire, show me the money. Show Chuck the filter. Power steering fill, oil dipstick. That's really all you need to know about this engine. That's the extent of the service work. You, there's also a headlamp up there that uh, Freightliner installed. If you need to service the engine at night, you can flip a switch and turn it on. I was thinking, you're probably gonna use it more for disco lights when you're uh, uh, in dance mode at the RV park with, than you would actually need to get in here and service this thing. Like, let's talk about the oil changes on this. So Freightliner has severe duty, um, normal duty, and all of that, So and light duty. So under light duty, you can go up to 50,000 miles between oil changes. So I tell everybody, it's like uh, Hank on King of the Hill. You're gonna change the oil every two to three years or when you get bored. <laughs> I mean, potentially you would never have to change the oil for the life of the coach because most people will never put 50,000 miles on this. This is just a rock solid power plant. And I gotta remind you, this chassis was designed for people that make their living day in and day out on the road. Um, it, it's just a whole different beast when it comes to um, chassis and support. They've also put extra soundproofing in this thing um, to make the, 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 make it a lot quieter inside. Um, I, I don't know, I can go on and on. You can do your own research or you can call us and we can tell you more about this Cummins power plant. Um, and it's also backed up with an Allison transmission. I mean, this thing, I don't know. I'm talking too much, I'm sure, but my whole goal of these um, videos that we do is to help inform people. You know, when we, me and my wife were trying to buy our motorhome, we, we were put in the golf cart and driven around and the guy's like, you know, which motorhome do you want? What do you want? And I'm like, hell, I don't even know what I want. I mean, this was a dream to own a motorhome and now you're trying to get me to spend three hundred, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 in a golf cart ride? It's not gonna happen. And I know many of you are thousand miles away, 2,000 miles away. This could be the single biggest purchase of your life. Wanna make sure that we've done our job to really guide you the right way. Maybe at the end of the video, you find out that the 36 VSB isn't for you. Great, we've done our job. Now let's go find the one that works best for you. 
This is a phenomenal coach. Um, we had a Verona when our son was playing uh, collegiate football and we used to run all over in it. And it's easy to drive, um, easy to park. It fits in two parking spaces at Walmart. The little things that people don't think about when they're looking at a motorhome. If you get over 36 foot, you'll have to park out where the trucks are. Under 36 foot, you can typically fit in two parking spots. Most parking spots are between 18 and 20 feet long. So if you're not towing a vehicle, it'll fit. So like going to weddings and we used to take our shopping because I dread shopping so I could hang out in the parking lot. And then my wife, just on the opposite, if we were going to a, a you know, a motocross hill climb and it got hot outside, she could go sit in the coach. And we just use this thing more than just a recreational vehicle. Um, our motorhome is like a way of life for us. And anyways, I, I'm sorry, I'm just going on and on, uh, just trying to give you everything I got. So let's continue down the coach and talk more. Okay, now we're gonna work our way back on this coach and kind of dissect it as we go. So the first thing is, we have the uh, turn signal cameras here. And what they do is when you're gonna make a left turn, this camera is gonna give you a side view of the coach. If you're gonna make a right view, there's another one or a passenger side of the coach, there's another camera over there, which just gives you nice views down the side of the coach, which really helps with when you're in traffic doing lane changes. Now I'm gonna talk briefly about the front axle. So this has a 13,300 pound front axle rating. And what that means is if we were to put this coach on a scale and weigh it, the manufacturer, Freightliner, says you could haul up to 13,300 pounds on the front axle. And we'll talk more about that when we get to the rear axle. I think it's a better story back there. See, we have aluminum uh, front wheel on it. It also has air brakes. Now, when it comes to driving and, and, you know, I've towed trailers my whole life and having good quality mirrors makes all the difference in having a good successful backup or not. Freightliner's done a great job. As I mentioned before, these are vocational trucks, so they're set up for commercial trucking. So mirrors are very important. These are powered mirrors, so you can control them from the inside as well as heated. So it just uh, can't say enough good about the mirrors on this. Now as we get back here, this is a plug-in for your block heater if you need it. You could just plug it in right here to 110 power. I doubt most people would ever need it unless you're going to get into really below, way below zero uh, conditions. Really nice steps to get in and out. I'm going to open the door. It's easy to grab this step and you also have another grab handle on the inside, or easy to grab a handle here and then one more on the inside and these two nice steps. I absolutely love being able to pull into a truck stop and climb out and not have to walk through the coach to get out. Um, very important to me. Again, just talking about safety, in my opinion, my personal opinion, is I like having these side exit doors. I got pretty claustrophobic in a Class A because I didn't have any way to get out of the front. Um, I really like this. When it comes to fueling, this coach has two 50-gallon fuel tanks, one on each side, and I like to be able to pull into a truck stop, put fuel in each one, get fueled up and get the hell out of there. Um, I just, I'm all about staying on the road. I wanna point out the DEF tank and some people don't, it, maybe it's a little foreign to them. So DEF just stands for diesel exhaust fluid and it's a liquid that you're gonna pump in here and it injects into the exhaust and helps with the emissions. Every truck stop has it so when you fuel in to fuel up, it, it's usually about every three to five fill ups it, you're going to fill this diesel tank probably three to five times to every one time you fill your, your DEF tank. Now we're going to move back and talk about just the overall appearance of this coach. I say it over and over and over. I don't know if anybody does a better job in the industry of paint than Renegade. Uh, Newmar's right on par as well, um, but absolute quality. 
When you run your hand down this, you can't feel any uh, waves in the stripe. It's just, I don't know, you just have to see it to really understand it and touch and feel. It's really hard to understand why one brand of motorhome might be 25, 50, or 100,000 more than the next brand until you come and touch them. And when people walk into these Veronas, you know, we get compared a lot to a Dynamax. And people will go look at that and then come look at this Verona and go, oh my gosh, this thing is way nicer. <laughs> and we, we love to get you to our place because once we get you here and you see this, it, 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 the coach sells itself. All right, we're gonna start here in this first compartment and talk about the batteries. You can see up in the front, the first group of batteries are group 31 batteries and therefore the chassis. And they supply power to the engine and everything related to the chassis. And then separate from them are your house batteries or your coach batteries. And as you can see here, we've equipped this Verona with the upgraded lithium package. And what that does for you, like me personally, I sleep with the TV on at night there's plenty of power to be able to run your inverter all night long and have two TVs on, um, be able to make a pot of coffee and all of that without plugging in the shore power or without having to start the generator. Uh, we also have this equipped with solar panels on the top, so um, lots and lots of power in this coach. And easy to access everything. That's something very important to me. Now we're gonna talk about Aqua Hot, and Aqua Hot can be, I think it's a little bit misunderstood by uh, people. Uh, I, I know when I was looking at my first coach, I thought Aqua Hot meant you got heated floors, and that isn't the case. Really what this thing is, is a boiler. And it heats up glycol, which is um, like antifreeze, and it circulates it throughout the coach. So there's a burner in here heating up the, the liquid, the liquid is pumped throughout the coach and it goes through heat registers. As you want heat in an area or in a zone, the fan will come on and it blows air over the top of the heat register and warms the coach. It's a significant upgrade for the Veronas. We're really excited now that Renegade offers this as standard. It used to only be available in our very high-end coaches and the fact that it's now in the Verona series just really takes this coach to another level. It also supplies continuous hot water for you. So in theory, you should never ever run out of hot water with this. And then there's one more feature that we started doing a long time ago for our custom coaches and it's now um, available on this Verona. This one, we have uh, heated bay compartments. So the water storage compartment has a heat register in it uh, or the water management area has a heat register in it so that it's also heated that area in there. So you don't have to run your tank heaters and everything so long. Um, just a great upgrade on this coach. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the next two storage compartments and both of these compartments are housing the gray and black water storage tanks. And some people might not know what gray or black tanks are. So the gray tanks hold everything that comes through your drains, such as shower water and sink water. That's all considered gray water. The black water is everything that comes out of the toilet. So you have your two compartments here. All right, now we're gonna look here in the water management compartment. And this is where you would fill the coach up. So let's say I'm gonna go and I don't wanna uh, plug in or I'm gonna go off the grid for a while. I would just pull this hose out, the water fresh fill, it's on a power cord reel. I'm gonna switch this over to tank fill and I'm gonna fill up the water tank that's underneath the bed. This coach has 150 gallons of fresh water on it. So, you know, like when we stayed at the hydroplane races, we were there, uh, me and my wife, we were there for four full days and we had plenty of water to shower as nice as we wanted, use our, um, do our dishes and everything. So we got a lot of water on board. Incidentally, there's also 75 gallons of gray water storage and 75 gallons of black water storage. And then if I want to wind the wheel up, I'm just going to push the button and rewind uh, the hose reel. 
You can also see that we have some low point drains here, which makes it nice when it comes time to winterize the coach. Or even if we're gonna, in the middle of the winter, if we're gonna do a short trip, we might just do a real quick low point drain of the water. It also has a whole house water fill here. And another neat feature that they have on this is the sea level tank monitor system. It's digital, so a lot of times when you're draining thing or your tank, you don't want to have to go back into the coach. You can just push the button. It's also available on the mobile app as well. So you can control most of the features right off of your app. Now, as we move back, we're going to talk about the rear axle. And this is where, uh, no pun intended, things get a little heavy. <laughs> and it's really understanding gross vehicle weight ratings and what those mean to you. So this coach has a 21,000 pound rear axle. And what that means is, as I said with the front, if you were to put this thing on a scale, the manufacturer said you could, weigh, you could put up to 21,000 pounds of weight on the rear axle. Now, if we take the 21,000 pound rear axle, the 13.3 front axle, put those together, that gives us a 34,000 pound 300 34,300 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So what we would do is we're gonna weigh this coach and this coach weighed right at 25,000 pounds. So it weighs 25,000 pounds, that's the static weight. It has a gross vehicle weighting, or gross vehicle weight rating of 34,000 pounds. That means we have 9,000 pounds of capacity for the coach. So we could put up to 9,000 pounds inside the coach and still be within the manufacturer's specs. They're just, I don't know of a class C, or excuse me, a class A single rear axle motorhome on the planet that you could even get remotely close to that much capacity. What it's validating is we have more chassis capability than we have motorhome. You have oversized brakes, oversized cooling, oversized transmission, oversized front axle, oversized rear axle. Everything that I want for me and my family exists in this particular package. And that's why I think it's very important that you need to become an informed purchaser. Like, we like to start out with it, IWS is finding out what's important to you. You know, are you, do you want to pull a huge stack or trailer? Do you want to tow, just dingy tow your, uh, your Jeep Wrangler? All of that adds up into guiding you into what's the best choice for you and your family. Um, I just can't say enough good about this particular coach. If, if your needs are you want to tow a, a flat tow your pickup or your car, if you want to tow a single car trailer behind this or an enclosed trailer, this thing's gonna perform flawlessly. All right, now we're gonna talk about the generator on this coach. So this has a Cummins Onan generator, and you can also see the Kubota tag down there. So this is really basically the power plant out of a Kubota tractor. And again, just like the engine, if you read the operations manual on this, they will tell you that they would rather you run this generator for two hours rather than just 20 minutes at a time. These things are designed to run for hundreds if thousands of hours. Like to me, take this coach, use the generator, live life, run the damn generator. You know, when we're traveling on the road and we're gonna go into a restaurant, let's start the generator and run the AC so we can come out and, and have a cooled down coach. We can leave the dogs in it. Like don't be afraid to use this stuff. I don't understand people that buy motorhomes and they turn them in and they're like, hey, yeah, you know, we only have about 20 hours on the generator. I'm like, really? Like run this stuff, use it. That's what it's made for. This is industrial grade products. Now, as we move back to the last compartment, this is where your shore power is. And you have a 50 amp cord right here that's on a power reel. You can power it in and out. We also have a 110 outlet here, so if you need to power up any power tools or um, get a car charger on your towed vehicle, you know, a couple times I've left the key on, 
when I'm towing my pickup behind my motorhome and I can plug a car charger in. All these little things are designed to just make life on the road that much easier for you. All right, now we're gonna move around to the back of the truck and talk about towing capacities. Okay, here we are at the back of this 36 VSB and we're gonna talk about some of the features that are going on back here. The first thing I wanna point out is the additional uh, backup lights. So Renegade's added more backup lights to them. We think that's a really nice feature. They come on when you put your uh, vehicle in reverse. Here's the exhaust pipe for the generator. Then you can also see here is the trailer plug-in, which is a standard seven wire trailer plug. And then we have this Voyager bulkhead connector. So if you're pulling a trailer, we can actually hook a camera up on the back of the trailer and then you would just plug it in right there. And then you can see it on your dashboard. Has a 20,000 uh, pound trailer hitch. So uh, very capable to handle about any size trailer you want to put on this coach. Those of you that know me and have ever followed any of our videos know that I'm a huge fan that Renegade chose to just use these standard truck lights. So if one of them ever goes out, you can go to your Napa Auto Parts store and just get a replacement light. You know, they probably range from $12 to $25 to replace these lights. Um, maybe it's just the farm boy in me, but I really like that feature. You can also see up high, there's the backup camera, as well as the DOT lights at the top of the coach. It's all um, fiberglass back here. It's got kind of this built-in V and it, damn, it just looks sexy. All right, we're gonna move real quick through this passenger side of the coach because it's all storage. It's really quite remarkable how much storage there is. You have this small compartment at the back, but then you have this pass-through compartment right here. And this has really deep storage. It's a great place I mean, you could stuff a couple kids in there if you needed to, but it works great for long tables, um, ski poles, may maybe a small totem pole, things like that at all, you have a place to put it. As we move forward, this is another large compartment and actually looking at this one, I think there's a little more room to sleep the kids here. Uh, be sure to leave the door open if you're gonna sleep kids in this one. Then we move, I do wanna back up, I'm just joking, you know, don't put your kids in the storage compartment. This front one here, you also have storage in it. And then the very front one is where you house your inverter. All right, another great feature that we really enjoy in our coach is having this outside TV. So here you have the television as well as the Bluetooth speaker. There's a USB outlet. And we probably use the Bluetooth more for just playing music when we're outside having lunch in the TV, but it's always nice when you have a good game on or a, a good race or in my, my wife's uh, case when there's a good dog trial on. <laughs> All right, okay, we're just about ready to wrap up the outside and go inside the coach, but I wanna talk about a couple things. And one thing that I wanna point out, and many first time RV buyers don't even think about this, but this has the lateral arm awning, so it doesn't have any arms bolted onto the side of the motorhome. And while that may not seem like a big deal, when you're driving it and you're trying to look in the passenger side mirror, if you have them arms on the side of the coach, it really cuts down on your visibility. So we're really excited that the Verona has the lateral arm uh, two-stage awning on it. We also have the uh, Girard uh, awning toppers over all of the slide outs. It's another nice feature. We also, something that's really cool is a lot of motor homes, when you turn on the vent under the microwave, it literally just recirculates the air inside the motor home. Renegade thought far enough ahead to install this vent so that the uh, food fumes, when you turn on the exhaust fan on the microwave, actually blow the fumes outside the motorhome. And it, it may not seem like a big deal to you, but all of these things just continue to enhance your experience in your RV. And that's part of why these Renegades are just more money. They, they're just a better coach, point blank. Now, as we get ready to go in, you'll also see that we have a little porch light right there. Uh, very easy to get in with these dual electric entry steps. So enough said, let's go on inside. Okay, 
Now that we're on the inside, I wanted to take a moment and kind of just show you what the walkway looks like when the slides are in. As you can see, there's room. You can get into the bathroom, you can get into the bedroom, have access to the dinette, access to the refrigerator, microwave, and sink. Why is that important? Well, when you're traveling down the road, many times you're gonna pull over into an RV, or uh, excuse me, a rest area, and you don't have room to run the slides out. And it's important to know that you have access to all this so you can sit down and make lunch without having to run the slides out. And on the subject of slides, I think that's the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and run these slides out. And before we do that, I wanna talk a little bit about um, why choose IWS? You know, one thing is, is we're all ruggedly handsome and charming and fun to be around. Uh, that goes for the guys and the gals that work here. But outside of that, we have our IWS Advantage package. So when you buy a coach from us, we're gonna include a custom iPad. And that goes back to when I bought my first coach, I felt like I was on an island. You know, Saturday in the evening, I'm trying to make something work and, it, and I don't even know who to call. And it can be very helpless um, to be out in the middle of nowhere and not have anybody that can help you. So we have, like one of the first things when you buy our coach is we have this contacts form. So if you have an issue, you, you, we've got Freightliner, we've got IWS sales. We, when you buy a coach from us, we monitor a cell phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We all rotate taking it home so that you have access to somebody 24 hours a day. You know, we ask that you don't call us at three in the morning just to turn on the TV, but if you need it, we're gonna be there for you. We wanna be that company that offers luxury service as well as luxury coaches, and we're gonna be there when you need us. That's something you can count on with us. And we try to make everything very easy and accessible. But another neat feature on this is you can go to the app that Renegade has on here. And, and we have it on the iPad, but you can also have it on your cell phone. And you can run all of the coach functions here. Sometimes when I'm running out the slides, like here, I've got us parked uh, next to a pine tree. I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and, and operate the slides from outside so that I can run it out and I don't have to worry if I'm gonna hit something, I can do it from the outside. So let's go ahead and get that done real quick. All right, here we are outside and I'm gonna go ahead and run the slide out using the Renegade app. You can see we got some uh, pine trees here. I don't wanna scratch anything on the pine needles. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hold the extend button. And it's really nice just to have the confidence of knowing that I'm not gonna hit anything or at least I have full visibility of it. While the slide's uh, running, I also wanna point out that I also use this app right here to level the coach. So I can walk around as the jack legs are coming down and, and see what's going on. It's just a really nice feature. Okay, there, we've got it out. We got clearance around all of the pine trees. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run the other side out and then let's go back in and keep talking. Okay, now we're back in again to do this tour. And one of the things that we forgot to get on camera when we were outside is Steve pointed out that that's why the awning topper is so neat. If you notice there are pine needles on top, that's gonna keep the pine cones and stuff from falling down into your slide and coming inside to the coach with you. Okay, now we're in here and I thought it'd be really good to just start out talking about the touchscreen and some of the features. And really all the features on here I'm going to go to um, heating and cooling and here you have the basic same controls. You can turn the air conditioners on or off, the heat pump, the uh, aqua hot, all of that can be turned on from here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the screen for leveling the jacks. That's all available right here on this and it's just kind of a really nice feature. But when you're inside of the coach, one thing that I really like is like this is where you can control all of the lights. And again, I can control them off of my phone uh, 
which is nice when you're sitting over there. I've talked about that enough, but I like the master off feature. So when I'm heading out, I can turn all the lights off. I can turn them all on. And then you have controls of whether you want to dim everything or not. So a uh, really great feature. All right, so I'm gonna back up and talk to you. This is a residential Samsung refrigerator. And I never, you know, I used to be a big fan of the propane refrigerators until I had a residential refrigerator in my RV and I don't think I'll ever go back. It, it really holds a good consistency on the temperature. Um, if you have medications, all of that stuff can be very important. What I also like about this is when we come home from a trip, we leave uh, our non-perishable items in here and I just plug it into the wall, uh, the outside of the coach. You could even just plug it into 110 and run your refrigerator. So when it's time to go, you just unplug it and shh, off you go. And also has a slide out drawer with a freezer in it. Here's some of the pantry storage. You've got really deep, I'm gonna go ahead and just reach my arm in there. Um, as you can see, that's a, that's a long, deep, compartment. Another way to illustrate it is I'll go ahead and slide out these pantry drawers. You can see how long they are and they all have that classic renegade soft close feature. Um, big compartments and small. Over the microwave this is where you can have your entertainment center. This coach has the WineGuard um, Wi-Fi range extender. extender. So you can get increased Wi-Fi. Um, you can actually buy a subscription with them through your cell phone provider and, and really gain a bunch of advantages from a Wi-Fi standpoint. It has a standard DVD player in it. This also has a WineGuard in motion satellite in it. So if you want, we can put your DirecTV receiver box in here and you can, you can have uh, DirecTV on the go while you're traveling. You have a convection microwave here and then here is the true induction. I'm gonna go ahead and set these out of the way. Your true induction cooktop. And I've become a big fan of these. Traditionally, if you, if you were to rewind and look at our videos from five, six, seven years ago, I was really a gas guy. Um, a couple of our customers, the Maze, really got us going on these true induction cooktops. And I love them because it gives me an extra storage place it takes a pan that has magnetic properties, steel um, pan. When you put it on here, these induction magnets hook to it and then it'll heat up. And uh, again, just really, really like this thing. All right, we're gonna keep moving around. Inside of here is where the fuse panel is located. So here's your 12 volt fuses, 12 volt fuses. And this is your 110 circuit breakers in these compartments. Here we've got some slide out cabinet drawers. And then you have under sink storage. And it's neat that they put a spot for the trash can. I can't tell you, in the early days, I used to get so frustrated because we would get these motor homes and there was nowhere to put the trash can. And now they're integrating it. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a big deal for me. Thank you, Renegade, for doing that. As well as more storage compartment over here. Now you've got this really deep residential sink, as well as pull out sprayer, residential style. We've got some storage overhead. And that pretty much sums up the kitchen area. Okay, now we're moving around the coach. I just wanna point out the TV and sound bar. I really like the sound bar on the TV better than in the ceilings because it kind of projects the sound. When we used to have our uh, earlier Renegade Classic years ago with speakers in the ceiling, it was kind of cool for a theatric standpoint, but it was really annoying to the people at the other end of the coach. So I really like this. You can also pull this release right here and then you can swivel the TV around. Um, you know, have some different viewing angles. Most of you are probably always just going to want to look at it from here, from the theater seats. Okay, now we've come around here, and this one has a bunk on it, and it's pretty easy to set up. You just slide this back, push that mattress forward, 
kind of hard to look smooth when you're doing all this on camera, but there you have a mattress and a TV. You also have a really nice sun uh, sunroof right there. There's compartments for the person sleeping up here as well as a bed. It's just a really nice little place to, well, it's a nice place to take a nap. All right, now we've got our uh, theater seating and you know, I'm six foot. I'm gonna hold off on how many LBs I am, but um, works out pretty nice to be able to just kick back right here and you got a straight shot at the, at the TV. I also like having USB chargers right here to be able to charge my smartphone because, you know, we got to stay connected these days. You also have a storage compartment here. And then you have this removable. Might be a good place to keep uh, your salmon of the day. Maybe I'm just joking. Don't put fish down in there. All right. Now we're going to move along and move up here into the dinette. All right, here we are at the dinette. This is actually called a hideaway dinette because you can lower the table down and convert this into a small sleeping berth. For small children, those of you with Oompa Loompas, um, it, it's not a lot of room. I think you got about five foot in here, but it is an option if somebody wants to sleep in it. And then you also have these storage compartments underneath that house the extra padding. If you're not gonna use it, uh, for sleeping, I you could just leave the padding at home and use that for extra blankets and stuff. You also have these forward-facing seat belts in this dinette, and I also want to point out that both of the theater seats have seat belts in them too. So you uh, you have seat belts for four additional passengers in the coach. All right. Oh, I also need to point out all of the overhead storage compartment. Now we're going to move back into the bathroom area and it gets a little tight in here so I'm just going to have uh, Scott come in with the camera but this is your stacked washer and dryer area right here. You have a sink and I kind of like this mid bath design because I'm kind of a bigger guy and there's plenty of room in here to you know to get dressed and move around as well as a really nice shower. All right, I just couldn't resist getting in the shower. Actually, I really wanted to just point out how much space there is in here. So as I said, I'm six foot, I'm, I'm slightly over 200. What you might say is I'm a svelte 250. I'm, I'm on the light side of that. But it kind of shows you how much room you have in here, headroom. I think it's a, it's a nice size shower. And then you can see here, we've got a macerator toilet. And what it does is, it has a grinder in it that grinds up and emulsifies the byproduct, the waste product, before it sends it down into the black tank. So really, it, it's getting a little crowded in here. It's getting a little hot. We're running this thing with no air conditioner and 100 degree weather, so I gotta get out of here. All right, here we are in the master bedroom, and as you can see, it's a really uh, large bed. It's actually a king size bed, which makes it 75 inches by 75 inches, so you can sleep either way on it. The reason I point that out is um, sometimes if I'm at a rest area and the slides are in, I might want to just stretch out lengthwise on it. Here you got a little bit of a storage compartment to set your cell phone as well as an outlet on each side of the bed. That's something Renegade's been doing for years. I think it's just a really great feature. You also have reading lights as well as this touchscreen feature that you can see when you're laying on the bed to reach up and turn the lights on or off. Anymore with the mobile app, I prefer to just turn the lights on or on with my cell phone, but that is a feature. Now we're gonna move around and show you, do our best to show you the storage compartments here and all the storage area. All right, here we are. As you can see, you have a really nice uh, closet area here. You also have closet area here that's stacked, but if you have long dresses or something, you can actually remove this out and you can have a complete uh, tall storage compartment. You also have a TV back here. This is where your media goes. You have more storage here and some more slide out drawers in the back. So all in all, I can't imagine that you would be needing any more storage than what's available on this. And you also got to remember all of the storage compartments downstairs. And also remember that all of this is in a 36 foot length. So they think they've done a really good job of I've given you the best they possibly can within that floor plan. All right, 
We're almost there. Those of you that have stuck with us so far, awesome, because we're gonna go in and talk about the chassis now. All right, so we've made it up here to the front of the coach and I'm trying to figure out how to best show you things here to help you become an informed purchaser and decide if this is the right coach for you or the right chassis for you. So I think one of the things I'd like to talk about is seating position and why I like a Class C. And this coach has an air seat. So one of the first things to start off with is it has an air seat. So I can easily control the height of the seat up or down with that switch. It has a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So I can find that comfort zone for me. But I think the thing that I like about them the most is I feel very natural in a Class C. It's very much like driving my, my F-250 pickup. The mirror position, when I look, it's in the same position as my pickup. I have that hood. So it's an easy transition. And I know my wife and many other people that buy these from us really feel comfortable up here because it's, it's much like driving a pickup. We're in a Class A, as my wife says, she always felt like she was in a fishbowl. You know, you're right up against the windshield. And I, I just love having that engine out there and, and being in this seating position. Another thing that people don't realize is the Class C cab is narrower. And it's much easier for me and my wife to have a conversation because we sit closer. Another benefit of the Class C that I like is that the front tires sit outboard of where I sit. In a Class A, you're clear to the outside and you actually sit over the top of the tires. And I know my wife in a Class A always felt like she was falling off the road because they're so wide. The seating position puts you clear out. When you're a passenger, you feel like you're falling off the road all the time. In these, the narrower cabs and the tires go to the outboard, you feel a lot more secure. And, and I believe you are more secure. But there's some of the features about here. You got your power mirror adjustment right here. Um, and then you have all of these other controls up here on the dash, which we're gonna walk through right now. So as you can see right here, we have the um, Wabco collision mitigation system and it does quite a few things so one is it has lane keeping or a lane keeping assist oh, maybe that's not even the right word it has lane keeping alert so if it senses you're drifting over the line one way or then another you're going to get an audible alert the other thing it has is adaptive cruise control so when you have your cruise control on as with most vehicles today it helps to keep that distance so it doesn't let you run up on somebody. And then the big feature is the collision mitigation and if it senses you're gonna come into an impact, it will apply brake pressure and try to prevent that. They had a really good video and it's been a while since I've seen it, but if you go on YouTube, you should be able to find it and I believe it was titled If, if You Only Had Two Seconds. And in that video, they discovered that most or a lot of the accidents could have been prevented if the driver had had two more seconds to prepare for it. Just that two more seconds to get your foot to the brake and this system's designed to do that for you. So, um, so far it looks like a winner. I think it's been out about five years now, four years and we have it on our coach and I absolutely love it. Just kind of going around the horn here, you've got a 12 volt power outlet. You have this USB plug to connect to the Magellan or the Garmin system rather. This is your truck camera. So this is if you wanna have uh, the camera on the truck. This is if you just wanna to go to the trailer. Backup camera that we could install as well. Air pressure monitor. Down here is a differential lock. So it's kind of rare that you would have a coach that has that feature. And it's something we lobbied Renegade hard for. What happens with a single rear wheel is traditionally it only sends power to the wheel with the least amount of resistance. So if you get in a ditch and you're a little bit off kilter and one tires up a little bit, it's the one that's going to spin. With a differential lock, we can push that button and it's going to lock both wheels together. Many times I've seen it when I was in the towing industry, somebody in a motorhome was just barely stuck. And had they had the differential lock, they could have got out. 
Yeah, it adds probably $1,000, $1,500 to the cost of the coach, but I think it's money well spent. I don't believe you'll ever own this coach and get stuck and say, man, I wish it didn't have, I wish I hadn't spent the money on a differential lock. Here's your docking lights for the back. This is the lane keeping override. So a lot of times when you're in really winding roads and the white lines aren't super crisp, um, you might want to deactivate that for a little bit. Exhaust degen or regeneration. Here's a spot lamp that we showed you underneath the hood if you need to work under the hood. This will lower the back of the coach. It has air ride suspension so we can deflate that. I really like to deflate the back of the coach before I run my jacks up. Um, it helps with that jack creep when you're getting ready to lead. Many of you that have RVs, you'll hear your jacks going crack, 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 crack when they're coming up. And you can prevent a lot of that if you would deflate the air ride before you uh, jack them up. Here's your parking brake. And on this, you know, not only is it designed, um, uh, what did I say? the GVW on this was 35,000 pounds approximately. Um, it's designed to hold that on a hill, so you've got ample parking brakes. Here's your power windows, your door locks, your mirror heat. Okay, now over here we have our engine brake, and this is a true two-stage engine brake. It's not a compression brake that operates off the exhaust system. It's a true engine compression brake. And what that means is that it uses engine compression to hold the coach back on a downhill descent. You got to be very careful because an exhaust brake is just a flapper in the exhaust that closes it. A lot of people called it a potato brake because it gives you the same results as shoving a potato in the exhaust pipe. Um, but this is a true integrated engine brake in the engine. Why do we like a two stage or a three stage? Well, it gives you choices. On the first stage, you have moderate engine compression holding you if you have a slow gradual descent. Then on the high setting, you have maximum engine compression and you would use that on a more aggressive hill. That way you can choose. The idea is to turn the, have the right setting so that it just holds you at the speed limit down the hill without you having to touch the brakes. But it's a great tool to have. Here you got your fog lamps. Over here you have all of your gauges. I'm not gonna waste time to go through all of that. Um, and then you have all of your cruise control over here as well as your headlights. Um, then you have your uh, dimming and, and all of your light controls there. A couple other things, you have a nice little storage compartment here. It's kind of interesting, I bought a a new German car and uh, well, actually it's a BMW so it was a I always thought I wanted one and there's no damn place to put your sunglasses <laughs> and I'm just so frustrated that here's this beautiful car that I saved up to buy and there's no place to put your sunglasses so this is kind of nice. I also have gum and toothpicks all the time so I like to have that there. You've got your reading lamps up here. Here's a red one. Um, I guess they say that the red lights don't bother the driver or passenger at night and then you have your regular light right here. Another neat feature is this Garmin can be removed uh, off of a magnetic back. So it's pretty cool because, you know, the passenger passenger can sit here and program in all of the mapping routes and uh, go through all of these features. And again, I don't know as it really adds a lot of value to this video content. Um, I think you could go online and, and find more on that. Well, I'm sure we've missed some things. Um, but it wasn't from lack of trying. And as I said over and over in the video, my big goal, IWS's big goal is to really make you an informed purchaser. I can't encourage you enough to come out and spend some time with us and try all these different coaches. You know, I, I really don't want you to have any regrets and buy a coach from us and a year later say, man, I wish I would have bought a longer one. Or, you know, sometimes, Many times I bought things and you get home and you're looking online and you're like, why didn't they tell me that was an option? I would have bought it, you know? So we're just trying really hard. I can't thank you enough, those of you that are subscribed to our channel. You, you guys don't know this. If you haven't been here, we're really small. 
Um, we have two to sometimes three salespeople is all we have and most everybody here has been with our company forever. Uh, Steve that's standing there holding the lights been with us 22 years. Marty I think has been with us 15 years. Um, it's just kind of like an old hat when you come to see us. So anyways, uh, enough about that. I just want to make sure you know how much this stuff means to you and I hope to see you out on the road.